Well, good morning, everyone. Great to see you this morning. And it's Wednesday. We're having a good week. We're studying the Bible together this week. We often, it actually, it's been pretty rare that on this show over the three years that we've been on the air that we have taken a whole week set aside to studying the Bible. Uh, really, the main one was when we went through for two months, went through the book of Revelation together. But this, actually, same author as the book we're studying right now, but as a much smaller book written probably 30, 40 years prior to him writing the book of Revelation. That was the Apostle John, and he wrote 1st, 2nd, and 3rd John, little letters that he wrote to individual churches, it appears. So we're studying 2nd John this week. And I, I hope you're enjoying it. I know that I'm becoming more familiar with Second John than I have in my whole 50 years of living as a Christian. Well, yesterday we got through uh, verse 6. And there's only one chapter. So turn, if you find it in your Bible, Second John. And there's actually two main points that this book makes, and we'll see that when we get to the end. But one of them we talked about yesterday, and it was just an encouragement for life. His command is that you walk in love. So that's how positively he wants us to be encouraged. He wanted the people to whom he was writing to be encouraged. That the really the secret, and we talked about that word is agape, and it's an active love. It's not just an emotional love. It's an active love. Well, that means we come to the next paragraph today, and that starts actually in verse 7. And this is a warning. There were things happening back then that really are still happening today in, in, in a slightly different way. But nevertheless, it's, it's a warning that you and I should take to heart. So let's read what that is. Verse 7, many deceivers who do not acknowledge Jesus Christ as coming in the flesh have gone out into the world. Any such person is the deceiver and the antichrist. Watch out that you do not lose what you have worked for, but that you may be rewarded fully. We're going to look at these two verses in depth today. They're that important. When he says, many deceivers who do not acknowledge Jesus Christ as coming in the flesh have gone out into the world. Any such person is the deceiver and the antichrist. What does he mean by deceivers? Well, right off you can tell they're not talking the truth. They don't acknowledge Jesus Christ is coming in the flesh. Now, here's the interesting thing. Back then, at least the people to whom he's addressing this to, their problem was that there were false teachers in the church claiming that Jesus was not fully a man. That yes, he was God, but he just he he wasn't fully man. That he was deity, yes, but he was not human. And yet there are scriptures that clearly indicate, and it's why it's been church doctrine down through all the years, that Jesus was fully God and fully man. So when they denied that he was fully man, that was not Christian doctrine. It wasn't truth. It wasn't truth. And so, <laughs> isn't it interesting that today, now we come down to today, and, and what's much more common? Many people will say he was fully man. In fact, one of the things they say is that, oh, he is such a good prophet. And we talked about that a week or two ago. You can't say that. And, and he can't be a good teacher or the prophet or, or anything else other than God unless he was crazy or something because he claimed to be God. Now he proved that he was God with miracle after miracle. 
and of course the greatest of all that he conquered death and came out of the grave after he was dead so in our day people will not admit that he was god but they'll say his mess is kind of flip-flop from back there but whenever you deny any of the truth about jesus it would get, still be get you the same name a deceiver an antichrist and let me just make it clear that in in verse 7 where it says that that person is the deceiver or the antichrist uh, the the article there in the greek could easily be translated a a deceiver a antichrist it's pretty clear from the context and by the way anyone who antichrist what's that mean those who are against christ anti opposite of christ the the antichrist of the end times that we studied about in the book of revelation is not this person they would they would agree that you know they were anti against christ and when you don't have the truth that is against him so this really is a warning for today isn't it because there are many who just don't accept the truth that jesus was god come in the flesh now he says in verse 8 and we want to get to that too he says watch out that you do not lose what you have worked for but that you may be rewarded fully is john saying that if you listen to the deceivers or the an antichrist that you would lose your salvation absolutely not you cannot lose your salvation. When God has saved you, when he gives you eternal life, how long is the eternal life? It's, it's forever, isn't it? So you can't lose your eternal salvation. In fact, Jesus says in, in John chapter 10, at verse 28, he said, Jesus quoting, I give them eternal life life and they shall never perish no one can snatch them out of my hand so jesus makes it so clear there that no one including yourself if you truly have believed in christ you can't unbelieve you know the truth the truth will set you free for all of eternity now that verse 8 actually says it makes it very clear that he's not talking about salvation but he's talking about rewards that you could you will get the way you live your life does earn you rewards in heaven god mentions rewards many many times including this verse so he says watch out that you do not lose what you have what's the word there worked for you didn't work for your salvation. That's a free gift from God. That is stated many times. Salvation is a gift from God. He gives it to you. You have to ask and have to receive that gift. But it's not something you can earn. So that's how we know he's not absolutely not talking about salvation. And then he says it for, very clear, but that you may be rewarded fully. John is not wanting any followers of Christ to lose their rewards. And so I just take it today as a warning. Let's not listen to false teachers, false people on the TV or anything else. And when they say things like you can earn it or that whatever else, they're false teachers. They're deceivers. No, you, you need to listen and study and be followers of teachers that claim jesus is god come in the flesh fully man fully god and you won't go wrong and all the good works that you're doing and i know you are you're going to be rewarded for those in heaven well god bless we're going to finish the book this week see you tomorrow Beautiful day. It's wonderful. This is the day that the